Illawarra Steelers for you now. And the fullback for them is O'Meara. The wingers are Girdler and McIndo. The centers Doherty and McGregor. The halves are Fritz and Simon. Russell is the lock. Morrissey and Izzard, the second row. Walsh and Waddell, front row. And the Dean Schipoletti is back in the side tonight. The Steelers are coached by Graham Murray. Bill Harrigan is the man with the whistle. A smile on his face at this stage of the night. For how long it will remain, I'm not sure. He blows time on. And it's the Steelers from left to right for the first two quarters. Coming back with the ball immediately is Maroon. In the headgear for the Red and Greens of South Sydney. The sound of the whistle. Penalty. Illawarra inside the five. Early indication there from Bill Harrigan that he's going to try and keep them apart. Plenty of talk about the problems injury-wise the Illawarra Steelers have had and some new faces out there. Not a lot of experience in the side. Amir at fullback, Girder on the wings. For, for South Sydney, of course, Crossan hasn't played a lot of football and Carberry in the second row. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of contribution we see from these inexperienced players. Matt Goodwin takes it up. Metton pulled down about seven metres into Illawarra's territory. Garlic. Chris Walsh over the top with Waddell. Coleman works a fairly narrow blind side. They find the opening. Down the ground goes Brown. He'll score. They've gone all the way. Unbelievable start for South Sydney. Quite unbelievable. They worked a narrow blind side. Well, first touch for Darren Brown coming into the game in the second row. Stepped inside and it got around a Dean Cipollini tackle through the dummy, the fullback. The old, you shouldn't take dummies like that, he did. And Darren Brown continuing on his great form from last week. A blinder of a try. Yes, our man of the match from the first game, Darren Brown, really did it all by himself. A poor attempt at tackle by Skiffalitti. Looked through the ball outside, caught the fullback in two minds, and Brown runs around next to the post. That's a great start for the South Sydney team. He's not that good a player, is he? Well, he's man of the match last week. He's he a legend. Off tonight, but... Great rap for him forcing his way into the side. He was a replacement player coming into the team last week. In the starting lineup this week, and he's given Crossan a reasonable, relatively easy kick. Eon Crossan, the fullback, rugby union convert from New Zealand to South this year. Ooh, hit it like a radar. Beautiful stuff. Straight over the dot. And South Sydney, they lead six points to nil inside 60 seconds. Now, oh, a rather embarrassing jog back to the halfway mark for Brett Doherty to place it and get us going again. Take two for well, Illawarra. Yeah, not a good start for the Steelers. The, the early penalty gave South the position to uh, score that try from and uh, South some enter enterprising play in their own quarter now. Darren Stewart goes back for South Sydney. Oh, that's bad play. First tackle, he's into touch. Well, that's the inexperience we spoke about. Darren Stewart going too close to the sideline and some very good defence there from Alan McIndoe. Showed great strength, took him well over. Well, the scrum going down 10 metres away from the South Sydney line. A chance for the Steelers to come back. Dale Fritz. Shades of the start to the Illawarra-Parramatta match, really, but Illawarra on the receiving end of it this time. Illawarra through number 15. That, um, that player is Paul McGregor. To the blind side they go now. And it's Waddell who's tackled three metres from the line. This is their, uh, their captain, Chris Walsh, in jumper number eight. A metre out from the line. They sweep it now through John Simon to Ian Russell. Oh, gee, that was a good ball by Russell. And it almost came off for them. There's the kick ahead, but it's gone over the dead ball line. It'll come back for a 22-place uh, kick for South Sydney. Yeah, good opportunity for the, the field of Warrior. Ian Russell, a beautiful ball. Simon put this little one through, but it was too well-weighted. And over the dead ball, it went south now. Bring the ball out from their own quarter line. So it's with um, Manoa Thompson. 32 metres out from his own line. South Sydney, if you just went to get a cup of coffee or something, they came out. All guns blazing, and they put six on the board in 60 seconds. They lead by six points to nil. This is Carberry. 
or Cabery. I'm not sure how he wants it pronounced. Now it's Maben. Almost up to the halfway mark. Earlier match tonight saw Cronulla Sutherland defeat Manly Baringa to go to the semi-finals. So there, there, Cronulla waiting to play the winner of this game in the semi-finals. And a penalty goes to Illawarra against South Sydney for getting inside the 10. Yes, and that's something that the referees need to have to have a look at. Obviously, with the kicking game of both teams, a lot of chases going down very, very early. The referee deemed there that the two chases, the half combination, Coleman and Mabin, were inside the 10 metres. Penalty to the Illawarra Steelers. Release some pressure. Russell. Taken front on by Goodwin. Also Cabri. Penalty to Illawarra. Again, South Sydney inside the five. Almost on the halfway line. Well, Bill Harrigan early on in the match asserting his authority. He's nearly blown the P out of that whistle. He's giving it plenty. And uh, the players have got to learn now. They'll understand that Billy's not standing for being inside the five. We've got to give him seven or eight. Cap taken. And uh, they run decoys from the open, but from the blind side, it's Doherty who's tackled. From Schifoletti now to Steve Waddell. Now, Walsh accepts the pass and keeps the roll on for the Steelers. Schifoletti. Simon for Morrissey. Morrissey put down, 10 metres away from the line. Illawarra now with Russell trying to work his magic. Dummy half getting it away for the ball to go into the air off the boot of John Simon. Up they go and down it comes for South Sydney. 6-0 in favour of the Rabbits. Ball played by John Minto. Darren Stewart. Garlic. The table. Maven. Crossing for the clear. Bringing it back as O'Meara. Russell. Away from one. Schifoletti calling for a quick play of the ball, but the sound of the whistle against the South City defence. And so much for Illawarra tonight, depending on the performance of Ian Russell. Had a great game in defeating Parramatta. He'll really be looking to put supports on the outside. The, the creative player in the side, along with John Simon. And that's where the Illawarra Steelers are going to be sending most of their attack off those two players. Tap to be taken on the South 22 line by Schifoletti. From Simon to Izzard. Or is it Morrissey? It was the latter. Now it's Waddell. Schifoletti. Walsh. Getting good service from his dummy half. He's able to work up a bit of pace when he hits the ball. Put down by the Steelers and Minto accepts it for South Sydney. Fairly basic play there by Illawarra. They took three hit-ups to the left, set up the back line out here, but they weren't deep enough. They were too flat, and those flat passes there, no good when the defence is coming up very quick. Yes, I think they're sort of wasting some plays here. They're taking three up and, and setting it up, and quite obvious that they were setting up for the for the one play. Some good, strong defence there from Illawarra, but I think that they should be attacking on all the plays. Well, Goodwin took one over the top of the head there from Schifoletti. It went unchecked. Nothing said about it. Crossing. O'Meara, well taken by the lad. Coming away from the 32 to the 40. Centre of the ground, Simon. And away from McGregor, it's with Russell. Schifoletti. Morrissey. Maroon over the top there of Garlic. Izzard. Schifoletti again. Riolo's out of this side. 
So is Rodwell. So is Wishart. There's plenty of good players out of the Illawarra team tonight. John Simon. John Simon's got them on track. Good kick. 6-0 South scrum to form close to the South line. Now, Coleman. Scrums just the two decided. They're 1-1. And it's South Sydney on their own 10-metre line for Manoa Thompson to try and take it away. Wrapped up by Ian Russell. And again, Bill Harrigan not going to take any part of uh, infringements in the play the ball area. He's been strong on the five metres and he's been strong on allowing the player up to play it immediately. And as long as he keeps that up, it'll be good for the game because... So many times in the Challenge Cup we've seen referees not prepared to keep them apart 10 metres. Now, Coleman for Darren Stewart. This time he comes in field. There's Morrissey, the tackler, in 20. Jim Sedaris. 15 metres, their side of halfway south. That pass was forward from the dummy half to Maroon. Garlic to Coleman, now to Maven. Maven a short ball away, and with the ball now is uh, Maven. Steve Maven back at South. Darren Brown, the try scorer, wrapped up on the halfway mark by Ian Russell's tackle. To the blind side, Coleman puts the kick in for the winger to chase. And a bit of trouble here for uh, O'Meara. Coming through quickly is Darren Stewart and Manoa Thompson. He beats them both. Good work by the boy, but they come from behind. Yeah, full marks. Brennan O'Meara. He had two players bearing down on him at a great uh, rate of knots. He beat them both pointless, pointlessly and uh, a relieving pressure run there by Brennan O'Meara. McGregor's pass. And they certainly do look a better side, Illawarra, when they do string together a couple of passes. You see Russell taking the ball up now, but when they can string one or two together, it just puts a bit more pressure on the defensive line of South, and they certainly look much more dangerous with the football doing that. John Simon calling for the kick, and he puts a big one down the ground. Cross and goes back to his 10. And a great chase from Simon. He's led them. They're all on side now, and he may even come up with a tackle. That's great play from the halfback. Yes, and uh, Simon going straight down the ground. Knowing that he's putting his players on side, taking the shortest, uh, the shortest route, straight down the middle of the park. Cabri, six 0 in favour of South. They came out and they really king hit Illawarra. Maroon bundled into the ground, but he got it away to Coleman, then to Goodwin. Now it's with uh, Garlic. Garlic put down about 15 on his own side of halfway. Morrissey getting up slowly for Illawarra. Coleman plugs it. Looking for the side. O'Meara will bring it back. Now let's see if he can beat the first line this time. No. Brown is there with uh, Maben. Oh, gee. Doherty has put it down. South can't capitalise. It'll be a scrum and it'll be a South Sydney feed. Yes, he had a shocker there, Brett Doherty, looking to take the ball up, but... Uh... When you're doing that, you've just got to keep your eyes on the ball. He was looking as to where he was running. The South players in front of him, and not good play from him. Put the, putting now pressure back on Illawarra. I think the worst thing that happened was the fact that he didn't look to clean up the mistake straight away. And so the head went back in the air, the ball went to ground, and uh, really once you make a mistake like that, the best thing you can do is cover up. Bill Harrigan wanting it again, 1-1 one, one the scrums. South using the halfback lock forward combination. Coleman backs up Brown. Play 22 ball and knocked on by South. Illawarra get a cheap ball. Now they've lost it. It's got to be a penalty. Well, he's called the Illawarra player out, Schifoletti. He's called him out, Ray. There's a, a bit of an altercation there. And uh, between the two hookers, Garlic and Schifoletti. And uh, Schifoletti didn't like what... Uh, Garlic was saying, it's a nice little elbow, gives him. let me give you the tip. Here it is here, there's a bit of an altercation. Garlic trying to put him down, and watch this from Skip Lilly. There it was, right in the ice, of pose. And the penalty's gone to South Sydney. A bad blue from Skip Lilly. Well, Dean Skip Lilly, sure, he may have been provoked into something, but he had the football. It was a cheap give-up by South Sydney. 
and uh, he's retaliated with that little short elbow as Paul Vorton described to you but when you've got the football Pete you just throw all that out the window don't you? Well when you've got the football you've got to make sure that you look to play it as quickly as you can no matter what's happened to you or, or what's been said he's really just you know, shown no respect for his teammates in that situation it looks like costing them two points so Ian Crossan with uh, one from one he converted the first try that was scored by Darren Brown, one minute of the game, and he's got it on a string, straight across the dot again. So South Sydney leads Illawarra by eight points to nil. We're in the first quarter of the fourth quarter final. The winning team will go on to play Cronulla Sutherland in Auckland next Tuesday night in the second semi-final of the Two East Challenge. And you'll see it right here on the wide world of sports. John Simon, he gets us off again. Coming back, Darren Stewart. Long strider, very fast. Just noticed he stayed away from that sideline that time, Rabbits. Yes, he did. He did. I think he could hear me screaming. The last time, Maybon looking for it as the ball goes away for Darren Brown now. He's lost it. Chris Walsh has come up with the ball. Illawarra now on the attack, down the left. Yeah, some of the uh, handling in the early part of this game wouldn't be pleasing coaches Graham Murray and Frank uh, Curry. Played by Simon, swung by Schifoletti for Waddell, flicked out the back for McGregor. Playing the ball is O'Meara. Now for Schifoletti. Russell shows it, tries to make the break. And is tackled 20 metres out from the south line. The Steelers, they need points and they need them quickly. This is McGregor. Schifoletti a dummy half. Simon, danger player. Grubber ahead for the outside men. Chase for the ball. And John Minto puts it over the dead ball line. Line dropout ensues. Yes, a better result there for John Simon. We've already seen him try to put one in behind the line. The first one went dead. That second one was touched by the south player. Another chance for Illawarra to... Work towards the south line, but line drop out from Manoa Thompson. Does go a fair way. We're looking at a 50 metre kick, 55 metres. Yes, a great drop kick by Manoa Thompson and O'Meara. He goes back to them, takes it back 20 metres. Schifoletti, Russell. Grassing tackle right around the boot laces by Anthony Cabri. This is Waddell. Schifoletti. Real one-out stuff here from the Steelers. Nobody went with Chris Walsh there. Setting it up again, and it just means that South's able to set their defence also. Chance here for them. Dale Fritz out the back for Russell. Can he unload? He does. He picks up O'Meara. Steps away from one, taken in the second. 12 metres from the South line. Schifoletti for John Simon. Simon goes to the air. He goes wide. Oh, Darren Stewart. Tremendous take. Right up above the pack. Yeah, great take there. He's a, a noted speech to Darren Stewart, but he, the beauty of that one was that he got up very, very high, well above the chasers. A great take onto the chest, and that released plenty of pressure. He made a mistake earlier. He just made up for that one then. Good one. <laughs> Garlic. Coleman, the dummy. Kick for Crossan. Charge down pressure. Avoided by Crossan. This is O'Meara. Outside 32, up to 40. Taken by Maven and Sidaris. I like the look of him, Ray. When he brings the ball back, he, uh, he's got plenty of ticker. He doesn't mind running straight into them, does he? No, he's a good kid. He's a likely, a likely prospect. Played there by Dale Fritz. Now it's McGregor. Big lump of a lad. Schifoletti. Schivaletti! Well, again, only one player in support. John Simon. If Simon had been able to get the football, they, they still couldn't have continued on. Russell looking to pick up Les Morrissey out wide. And a great tackle by the number four, Steve Maven. Beautiful ball by Russell. Simon. And he uh, perseveres with going to the air. Up they go. That's a clean ball back for Illawarra. South have got a touch on it. Now it's come back for six more. Russell! He's put one round the corner for McIndoe. Scores. Well, what a pass by Ian Russell.
Newcastle around the corner. You'll see it on the on the replay in a moment. It all came from the kick, the big high one from John Simon. There's plenty of bodies around. No one wanted to, no one knew who was going to get it. Illawarra got it, then South had it. Illawarra picked it up again. Six more to go. And watch shades of Arthur Beetson there. And McIndoe had a stroll into the corner. Yeah, some good fortune there for the Illawarra side. It was a good kick and a great jump there from Doherty. The ball rebounds backwards. It comes back towards the South player. Carberry couldn't pick it up. Simon Johnny on the spot. And there's the pass. Ian Russell, a couple of men outside him. Alan McIndoe, only five metres to run. Well, he's been in everything, Ian Russell. He's virtually playing them on his own at the moment. He and John Simon being their best players. O'Mara's going well, but Russell's involved in two out of every six of the Illawarra Rucks. He's passing, throwing dummies, going himself, and he's having an absolute blinder at this stage. And he's got Illawarra back into the match. Now the attempt at conversion. Steelers back to 8-4. Brett Doherty, very good striker of the football. He's way out there, a couple of metres in from touch. Trying to convert the try, scored by Alan McIndoe, made by Ian Russell. And around it comes, but it's uh, wide of the uprights. There's the siren, the end of the first quarter, and we've got a good contest on our hands. South Sydney leading Illawarra, eight points to four. We'll take a break and be back with more of the action shortly. Away we go now with the second quarter of the action. Illawarra from left to right, trailing by eight points to four. And uh, ironically, they've kicked the ball straight down to Darren Brown, who put a try on them in the opening seconds of that first quarter. Ball play by Cabrera. Matt Goodwin. South Sydney. Winners over Canterbury in a hard slog up at Lismore. Illawarra inflicting victory, or inflicting defeat really, on Parramatta. Darren Brown's kick under extreme pressure is a tremendous kick. And uh, the scrum will go down about five metres on the Illawarra side of halfway. Yeah, good chase there by Dean Schifolidi on the kicker. Watch this, he comes in from out wide. That's a ploy that most coaches are doing now. The kickers can see the dummy halves coming at them, but the, the players from out wide sometimes catches them unaware. John Simon working it, away for Fritz. Illawarra having to make several changes. They've got a club riddled with injuries this early in the season. It's uh, unfortunate that that's the way it has to be, I suppose. Trials have to be played. I think something like 17 players, contracted players, are on the injured list, Peter Sterling. Yeah, that's a big worry, and obviously they're hoping that those players will be fit for the start of the Winfield Cup competition. But they've done particularly well in the Challenge Cup. They've put Parramatta away. They're well in this game against South Sydney. It's a good break McGregor, there from McGregor. McGregor with a great run. Infield pass, but it's been knocked down by Illawarra. It's a try. He's given a try. Well, he's ruled that it was touched in flight by South Sydney. So, the Steelers come up with a try. I thought that it came off an Illawarra hand. Let's watch it again. It's a great individual effort here by Molly McGregor. He slipped through a tackle there in Maybon. He went through the ball inside. A speculator come off the South Sydney hands of John Mindo. And number 16, Craig Izzard, dived from the ball. Fair try. Good decision by the referee. Yeah, I think it's a good decision. McGregor, the big fend, the, the left-hand fend, throws the ball back inside. I think it comes off two South Sydney players. That yeah. was the first one. That was the second one. But they were both in red and green jumpers. And Craig Izzard claims the try. Good chase, eight all. Yes, he's a big tall thing, young McGregor. And when he's running at Rod Mavon, who's about four foot one, he always had the advantage on him. And those big long legs of his took him through the tackle and away he went. Good effort by him. Well, there were some people in the crowd staggered by the decision, but when you see it on the replay, it was a beautiful piece of refereeing by Bill Harrigan. And to his credit, he was in line with the play to adjudicate as quickly as he did. Brett Doherty, none from one, pumping himself up for the kick. Gets it away, beautiful kick. Illawarra, they've come back from a shock start, leading 10-8 over South now. Well, it's been a different scenario to what we saw at Parramatta and Illawarra, but we're back to a similar scoreline after the first 20 minutes. And Illawarra are leading 10 points to eight. They held on in that game. They've certainly got plenty of work to do to hold out a very enterprising South City side to date. 
Garlic goes to the bench. Eon Crossan placing the ball. And we're almost set now for this next passage of play. Crossan sends it down for John Simon. And Ian Russell brings it back. I made the point off air a few moments ago that he's ready. He's ready for anything in rugby league, Ian Russell. As South come up with the ball. Mistake by Illawarra. Will South make them pay? Brown away from Maven. Maven, 15 out. And now it's with Darren Brown. Brown wrestled into the ground by McGregor. Sedaris, he's been quiet. 15 for South is Blake Butcher. Sedaris, Coleman, Maven. Now it's Manoa Thompson away from Morrissey. Still going, but Russell's got him. Sedaris, Coleman, grubbers for Maven to chase. And Illawarra, they are. Well, he doesn't need to be told. We'll take Tugger, a look at it again. Tucker puts this through. He's got a mile. He could have had a cup of tea there before he tried, tried to dive on that. And Johnny Minow showing a lot of speed. Look at young O'Mara lying on the ground. He puts it through again. Yeah, he just tried to be a little bit too smart. He was, he was hoping the ball was going to go dead. Not the conditions to be waiting for that. And that's a great chase from Minow. Threw himself on the ball and certainly forced it. Bad mistake there by the Illawarra fullback. Well, it was a million to one to go dead. Well, he was that's... laying there at his feet. Wasn't it? It was. It wasn't going to go dead. And, uh, you know, again, we, we've spoken about inexperience in this Illawarra side, forced to injury. Crossan, Look at the kid. Look at the kid. Yeah, he knows. Crossan now has a reasonably difficult kick. One out of one for Crossan, but South leading by 12 to 10. In fact, I think Crossan's kicked more than one from one. Two from two for him. And he gets this one away sweetly. So Crossan gets another two for South Sydney. And they lead by 14 points to 10. Well, the kids made a mistake. The best thing could, that could happen to him now, I just hope that Chris Walsh, the very experienced captain, went over to him, had a few words in his ear. Here it is again. What was going through his mind, nobody knows. And Johnny Minow said, you little beauty, that's mine. Yeah, actually, Fatty, I think he, he flinched when you gave him a rap out there earlier. Brought him undone, haven't you? Simon kicks off. Darren Stewart comes back. 14 to 10. South leading now. Brown. It's Blake Butcher. Maroon. Good, strong defence by the Steelers. Thompson. Big kick by Manoa. Talking of Manoa, it reminds me of that signing at Newcastle that came through today. What was his name? The Fijian lad? Father Mifa. Father Mifa. He's an explosive player. The Steelers. Steelers. Don't do it to me. They come back now. Morrissey. Eight metres short of the halfway. Schifoletti. Izzard got a doubtful ball. But it wasn't a doubtful try that he got. Doherty. Sedaris is the tackle. Last tackle. John Simon. And uh, it sits up. Stewart will bring it back. Nine metres out from his own line. Crossan. Coleman. <laughs> That's uh, Maven. Young John Cross has just got on to the Illawarra side to replace Les Morrissey. And uh, this defence is a lot better from Illawarra. They've got a good line going up very fast. And South have uh, had, what, four tackles, only made the bear 15 or 20 metres, resorting to the kick now. Thompson. Thompson. Yes. Big kick again by Thompson. O'Meara. 
He's back with it. He'll pick this up nice and quickly. He's probably not bad tackish from South, apart from playing good field position. Just keeping the pressure on the fullback, Brendan O'Meara. You know, his confidence will be down a little bit. They're peppering him. He's done very well the last couple, and they now get a penalty. Relieve some more pressure. That's against the South Sydney markers for not remaining behind one another. Blake Butcher, one of the offenders. See it again. See how they're standing shoulder to shoulder. They should be behind one another. And the penalty goes to Illawarra. Tap for Schifoletti. Oh, forward pass a mile from John Simon to Cross, who's on in 12. Big run by Schifoletti. Gets out from dummy half, and uh, he can really run Dean Schifoletti. Fritz throws the dummy, tries to make the split. Plays the ball 35 metres out. This is McGregor. Can he do it again? Stands in. He thought about flicking it. Just outside the 22 metre line. <laughs> McGregor to play it for Walsh. Now to Simon. Russell turns it inside. Fritz wasn't ready for it. And it's a knock-on against both sides. And the scoreline. Souths 14. Illawarra 10. Scrum forming. Midway between the 22 and the halfway on south end of the ground as we welcome you back. And it's with Maben. Coleman. Cabri. Been impressed by Cabri. Uh, in the early exchanges, he did plenty of work, hit the ball up. That's a sign of a, a player who's going to go places. One who's willing to take it up when players are fresh and they're tackling very hard. Sidaris. Maben, uh, Maroon it is, very heavily put down by Russell, off came the headgear, Coleman kicks, charge down for Illawarra, kicked the head by Illawarra, but now it's with South Sydney. Well Schifoletti did very well, he got a charge down and then just failed to pick the ball up, it was really an easy one, he did all the hard work just fell apart at the end. Makes you wonder about the value of charge downs, Peter, doesn't it? Here is he's charged it down, missed it, and it's six more to uh, South Sydney. And nine out of ten times, that's what happened. That's exactly what happens. Well, that was probably the one out of ten time that it, it did come off. He, he really did have an easy pick-up. I do agree with you these days, Pete. That's a great kick there from Greg Carver, finding touch well down. Just off the Illawarra try line. Really, with the charge downs these days, we see a lot go against the team that, that do do that. But in that case, Skifflitty, good chase. Just couldn't pick the ball up. The scrum will form uh, in a close region to the Illawarra line, but it is their feed. 3-2 the scrums to South. And 14-10 to 10 the scoreline in favour of South. Entertaining game for the most part. Some big hitting, but of course, when you talk of big hitting, that all seemed to happen in the Manly Cronulla game. Probably too much shoulder charging, but most people here on the ground enjoyed it thoroughly. Now, Cross plays the ball. Waddell was with the Penrith Club, now with the Steelers. Simon. Well, he did well to chop off the tackle of uh, Butcher and then get the kick in. Crossan. Cut down. Neat tackle, but it wasn't that difficult because he was running across the ground for John Cross to make that tackle. Maven. Coleman. Through Cabri to Sidaris. Sadaris put down by McIndoe. Stewart. Darren Trindle getting ready to come out for South Sydney. Last tackle. Again, Coleman tries to work the blind, but it was a bad pass to Brown. Brown looks at him, throws the ball into the ground. And it's a turnover. Illawarra come away from that play the ball. Waddell plays it back for Schifoletti. This is Walsh. 
32 metres out from the South Sydney line. The Steelers, they're playing the catch-ups now. Schifoletti. Russell. Fritz. McGregor. Izzard. Cross. 32 out. Last tackle. Simon. This time he drops it over the heads of the three quarters and in touch in goal. He's watching Bill Harrigan. It's a line dropout, obviously coming off John Minto. Yeah, well way to kick there by John Simon into the corner. Johnny Minto should have caught that one. Uh, took his eye off it and it went through uh, through his hands to the ground. Graham Murray, uh, whilst he'd be happy with the scoreline uh, just behind 14-10, he wouldn't be happy with the way his side's playing. The fact that the forwards are going up one out with no support, making them easy marks for the defence. And really, they're going nowhere. This Thompson's got a big boot on him. That's a 60-metre drop kick. And to Brett Doherty goes back with it. Oh, gee, that was a big hit on Doherty. That sickened Doherty, the hit. See it again. Crunch, it's that last tackle from Blake Butcher. Yes, it was uh, plenty of bravery shown by Doherty. He got up and played the ball straight away, so he wasn't hurt, but a, a good hit there from the South Sydney team, hunting in a pack. Walsh. What an inspiration he's been for Illawarra, Chris Walsh. Izzard works with Simon. Simon gets away from two, gets the ball around the corner for Cross. Cross gets it away for Izzard. Good football, John Simon. He's on to the left hand hit. Ian Russell's involved. Russell gets it away from McGregor. McGregor gets it on for Waddell. Waddell, he hasn't got the ball down. No try. Well, the Illawarra team, they've reacted to that. Certainly Dean Skifalitti believed that the ball was forced. Steve Waddell burrowed down low. They did turn him on his back. Difficult to pick it up from that angle, but certainly Bill Harrigan right on the spot. He had no doubt. Yeah, good defence by Sedaris, who uh, kept him overturned on his back like a big turtle, and he just couldn't get the ball down. South now bring it out, 10 yards out from their own line. Cabri. Now we've got 14. Yeah, that's some experience. That's Michael Andrews. Been an integral part of the South Sydney team over the years, and uh, good to see him back in first grade in the top 17. Good to see he's actually got a face. He's had a beard for the last 10 years. Oh! Well, Thompson knows he's been tackled by Simon. Crossan. Illawarra take it back. in the Winfield Cup competition for many years and a state of origin winger. A high kick from Crossan. Nobody seemed too interested in, in what was happening when the ball bounced. Alan McIndoe took it upon himself, took the ball at speed, had a little bit of a smother from John Simon. Really a poor chase there. Great speed from McIndoe. He's a tremendous finisher. Yeah, the secret to that try was the fact that McIndoe just said Peter took the ball on the run. Legs pumping, arms feeling for the try line. Oh, that's a good try to McIndoe. <laughs> 14 points all then, with Alan McIndoe scoring the try. And the attempt at conversion is a simple one from uh, almost right in front for Brett Doherty. That's why I've never been able to score a try. I've never been able to feel for the try line. Well, they were. You could see them. They were pumping out. And a great individual effort by him. But a, once again, a poor chase by the Rabbitohs. And, uh, but take it back one step before that and the pressure put on the kicker by the Illawarra defence was what probably scored them the try. Brett Doherty with the attempt at conversion of the McIndoe try and he's got it. So the Steelers go back to the lead. 16 points to 14 over the Rabbitohs. The bench players getting a well-earned rest particularly Tugger Coleman, Steve Maven. And back to the halfway for the restart. Gee, this scoreline is changing so often in this match. Keeping uh, the fans of both clubs on their feet. Crossan starts it again. 
Doherty. Been working overtime. Out to the 22. Schifoletti. Russell. It's been amazing all throughout this two-year challenge, Ray. How many tries have been scored early and late in the quarters? We, we do call them danger periods, and that's exactly what they've proved. South ran in a try at the beginning of this game. Illawarra hit back at the beginning of the second quarter, and they've just run in another try now as we go into the, the last couple of minutes of the first half. John Simon. Minto going back to come away from his own in goal. Good chase by Illawarra. Dale Fritz, the tackler. Thompson. Fritz again doing the cleaning up. Can he make it three? I'll tell a man he can. Fritz, three in a row for him. Chris Walsh makes this one. Ball played by uh, Trindle. This is Sidaris. Trindle. Ball comes up. And, oh, gee, South Sydney taking a risk there. John Minto got a kick in, a miraculous kick, really. He had no room to work in, and uh, he's gained about 35 metres. Now, watch this. Gee, it was risky football, though, by Thompson. And then Minto, with no ground to work in, has found 35 metres off the boot. Shades of Paul Vorton at his best. Oh, I normally did them left foot, Ray. But Illawarra, they're all fired up. They're tackling harder. They're running a lot harder. And that last try as we go to half-time now. And at half-time, 16 points to 14 is the score. A thoroughly entertaining game. I hope you're enjoying it. You'll see more of it on the Nine Network after this break. 16 points to 14. Illawarra leading South Sydney as they come back for the second half. The Rabbits first and the Steelers second. And uh, Peter Sterling... Very much a topsy-turvy scoreboard here in this uh, fourth quarter final. Yes, Ray, the fortunes certainly have fluctuated and that's been reflected on the scoreboard. Plenty of changes in leadership. And I suppose the outstanding part of that first half was some brilliant individual touches there from a couple of players. We saw the round-the-back pass from Ian Russell. That was lovely. Great work from Alan McIndoe in scoring his try. And in the opening minutes, Darren Brown, some nifty footwork to put on the first try for the for the, for the Rabbitohs. So it, it's been a, a very close game. Uh, few mistakes, some big defence, but some individual difference, flashes of, of brilliance have made the difference. Well, I just noticed uh, an interesting player out there for South. He, he completed the first half. Brian Jackson, the former Parramatta centre, is on the field for South, Paul Vorton. And I was surprised that he didn't get more time against Canterbury the other day in Lismore. Well, he didn't get any. I'm surprised he didn't get more time either. Five minutes would have been more, wouldn't it? I thought he did get a little run, but you might be right. As South get us going... <laughs> And it's going down to Illawarra. And uh, have they been able to keep it in play? They have with Doherty. Gee, that was close. Izzard, I think it was, who almost made a complete mistake of it. Now, Waddell, 22 metres out from his own line. This looks like a new boy on the park. No, it was uh, um, O'Meara. Now it's Walsh. Back for the kick for John Simon. He decides to run it instead of kicking it. And he's met with uh, a due response from South Sydney. Yeah, I don't think it was a conscious decision that he made. It was just the pressure put on by the South Sydney chasers. As Skiffalitti decides to run one, he's chased here. If, is he onside? He's going to contest his ball. Cross and takes it well under pressure. Cross and plays it. They've come back with the football on the halfway. So can they? Oh, Sedaris is knocked on. Ray, Strum, there's, there's it down just on South Sydney side of halfway. There's nothing in this game for the moment, Ray. But, and uh, one of these sides to win it has got to start asserting some authority. And South Sydney not doing that with that bad mistake. See the look on uh, Jim Sedaris' face. He knew he made a bad blue. I think Illawarra have got a good pattern of play going. Um, I think the last five minutes of that first, qu the second quarter, their, their support play started coming good. I think they can go on with this game. Ball played by Ian Russell. This is Fritz. Breaking through a couple of really fragile tackles in that front line. Cross. 25 metres out from the south line. Schifoletti. 
through Simon. 15 is McGregor. Held by Darren Trindle. Simon for Waddell. Looks to throw it out the back, but takes the tackle of Maroon and Cabri. Kick high for John Simon and across the park. Trouble here, no. Stewart took it nicely. And uh, I thought he was in goal, actually, when he took it. Yeah, I'm sure he was. He actually played on, but I thought that Harrigan would have ruled that he'd taken it within goal and brought it over for the line dropout. It, uh, it certainly has penalised South Sydney because they'd, they'd have, uh, wouldn't have been in the situation, even though the penalty now is going to relieve some further pressure. Penalty for South Sydney. Well, there he is taking it, definitely in the end goal. Well, I think what happened, he looked to run it back out, and I think sometimes the referees, if they see the player wants to run, they let him go on with it, and uh, they probably cost themselves, uh, well, 20 metres at least, metres. plus, you know, six possessions. Now the tap taken, 20 metres out. This is Matt Goodwin. Sedaris. I would think that uh, Coach Curry would be looking for Sedaris to get more involved in this second half. Well, he's an impact player. He's got a few ball skills. He's a very strong, bumping, running type player. And he certainly has got to get more involved. As they put it downfield, Manoa Thompson puts one along the ground. Yeah, he's the sort of player who can get some second phase work going. Goes up to the line, turns and hits very very similar to Mario Fennick, who we obviously played with for a number of years. And they have missed that tonight. They really haven't been able to get some second phase work going. Russell. Laid on a try in the second quarter. Played by John Cross. Captain Walsh. 15 from the halfway. Schifoletti sweeping it for Izzard. Still not quite to the halfway for the kick now for John Simon. He's had a busy night. He's been driving the ship with Ian Russell. Cross and going across the ground. He'll make easy pickings and he does. Stewart folding in to take a forward run. 16-14 to the Steelers. Cabri. Goodwin. Second man play by South Sydney. Thompson. Brendan O'Meara to bring it back. The South Sydney chase was very good. They pegged him 10 metres out from his own line. McIndo. Hit South Sydney with a hell of a try just before half time. Some good chasing there from South Sydney and Brian Jackson leading the way. An old teammate. Really good opportunity for him to press for first grade selection tonight didn't get the opportunity to do so in Lismore and he's one player who I think runs into a hole runs into a gap better than most players in the game today really can put on a try puts himself in a position to do so Simon big kick down for Crossan nicely positioned Stewart 35 metres out. Cabri. He's done some work, Cabri, right? He certainly has, Paul, and that was a very good tackle put on him by Waddell. Now, Darren Brown. Wrapped up by Chris Walsh. Sedaris. Well, they're going nowhere, South. They're running from one side of the field to the other in that 20 metre zone. Easy pickings for the Illawarra defence and resorting once again to the kick. Trindle. Trindle's kick may find touch, it does. Nice kick by the youngster. And the scrum will go down about 30 metres away, or in fact not quite that far from the Illawarra line. Waddell goes for a rest as the Steelers continue to lead this match 16 points to 14. Three scrums to Illawarra. Dale Fritz. Simon. 17 on for the Steelers. There's David Walsh. And 
Harrigan gives a penalty to Illawarra. It's against the South Sydney defenders not getting up and releasing the man. Civil case there. Matty Goodwin lying all over the player. And Matty Goodwin's a very experienced player. He should know better than that. This kick's actually gone about 10 metres back. Illawarra losing ground from a free kick. Walsh hits it up. 10 metres from the halfway mark. The Steelers with David Walsh now. It's a Walshathon. Scavaletti. This is Cross. Scavaletti again. Now McGregor. The game plan really has unfolded much better once the defence, the Sting was taken out of the defence. Really stringing together some more passes. John Simon decides to go for the little one over the top. Cross and knocks on. Good pressure from Simon. Nice variation in play. They'll get the ball from this scrum feed. Yeah, good play from the Steelers. You can see there, they worked a couple in for the blind side. And then Simon came up with this little chip. Cross and couldn't handle it. The players running at him from all angles and uh, just didn't handle that well. Steelers winning the scrum. And uh, with Dale Fritz now, 15 metres out from the South Sydney line. Illawarra with a chance to extend that lead. Walsh, five metres out. John Simon, he's the player to watch, Ian Russell. Tried to do it himself, two metres out. Rake back for a... South Sydney player to come up with the football. Yeah, the referee ruled six again. They've come up with a penalty here, the Illawarra team. It looks like Blake Butcher down on the ground. Or... So see it again. Well, he's got Darren Marone. See number 10 there, never actually onside. And when the ball ended up in his arms, the referee had no... Um, nothing else to do but give a penalty to Illawarra. Yeah, tried to play an advantage. It didn't work out for the Illawarra Steelers, but this works out for them. A kick in the in front. Doherty kicked reasonably well tonight. He should not miss this one. And extending that lead of Illawarra, just making that little bit tougher for the south sides to peg back. Illawarra just getting on top still, though? I think they are. I think that they, they, they are stringing together more football. They've got that great enterprise shown by both John Simon and Ian Russell. And the kicking game's been very good. South, of course, has Doherty. This is easy meat for him. We'll just watch him as he comes in. Yeah, too easy. Two points. 18-14 now to the Illawarra side. South, of course, missing uh, Mark Carroll, who broke his hand last week. He's out for four to eight weeks. He's a, a big strike player for them, and uh, they're missing him tonight. 18 points to 14 in favour of the Steelers. Restarting the play. Girdler. Russell. Amira. Walsh. Schifoletti. Simon. Penalty goes to South Sydney. That's against an Illawarra player, I do believe, for taking one of the South players out who was trying to put pressure on Simon. Yeah, you can see there uh, a bit of an altercation there Darryl between Trindle, Trindle and uh, Schifoletti. No, it's not Schifoletti. That's exactly what happened, though. It was a South Sydney player trying to put some charge down pressure on the kicker and he was held out of it by an Illawarra player. So Crossan with this penalty kick at goal from 25 metres out right in front and a chance to reduce this deficit from four to two. Three from three so far. in front and as easy as easy as he makes it look 
he has been under a lot of pressure in this match tonight. 18-16 then, in favour of the Steelers still, over the Rabbits from South Sydney. Yes, yeah, she's been a good acquisition for the South Sydney team. Very talented goal kicker. And uh, you notice he leans the ball forward when he kicks very similar to Matthew Ridge. Apparently the sweet spot is, is bigger on the football, kicking it that way, and most of the kickers in Sydney these days opt to do so. Stewart brings it back for South Sydney. Oh, heavy tackle there on Blake Butcher by Ian Russell. He's a very strong player, this Russell. He's, um, he doesn't probably look as, uh, as strong as he seems to be on the rugby league field. He's wrapped a couple of blokes up here tonight and he's really put them to ground heavily. I really think the, the big plus in, in Ian Russell's game this day, apart from his obvious ability and skill, is his work rate has really improved. You know, it's, um, he, he really has taken a lot of responsibility in this team. As Bill Harrigan calls out one of the South Sydney players, the chase was good, but he's come up with an infringement there, and that, again, will allow Illawarra off the hook to some extent. We're talking about Russell. He'll be involved in this next set of six. Work rate really has improved over the last couple of seasons. John Simon finding the line, finding the halfway line. And David Walsh with a full head of steam. He takes it down towards the quarterway line. John Cross and oh look at Illawarra they're getting over the ad line easily now they're 20 metres out here's Ian Russell taking it down towards the 10 metre line away now for the sound of the whistle and it's a penalty to South Sydney yeah, bad play the ball there by Ian Russell he was under a little bit of pressure from the South marker he, uh, he's looking for a quick play the ball and uh, well I don't know the penalty could have gone either way I suppose the South player Actually had his hands on Russell's back, but no excuse, Ian Russell should have got up, played the ball with his feet. That's what the referee's blowing up about. You must roll the ball back with your feet. Yeah, well, they've compounded the mistake too. Chris Walsh sussing out the referee there, but there was some back chat involved. Another 10 metres against the Illawarra team. Kick now taken well outside the quarter line of the South Sydney side. Thompson finding the line. 10 metres into Illawarra's area. Cabri. Garlic, a dummy half. Blake Butcher. Played Four. very well, David Walsh, since he's been on. A lot of, lot of enthusiasm out there, certainly out of the size of great oh, ball from Brown. Coleman. Brown running off Coleman. That should be six more tackles. It is. Illawarra getting a touch on that ball. So South Sydney now. They've got a chance to rest the lead back. Cabri. Driving tackle by Schifoletti. Away from Garlic, picks up Butcher. He's very close to that 10 metre line as the South Sydney trail by two points, trying to bridge the gap on Illawarra midway through this uh, third quarter. Craig Cullman very keen to put on a blindside shot There's and he's Brown. done so. Brown scores. He's over. Now Brown gets his second try. Same yes. combination as the first time. South's in front by two now. They work that well, South Sydney. They work for that blindside shot on Illawarra. They took a couple into the right. Here they are. Switch to play now. Coleman a dummy inside. Brown running into a bit of space. A poor attempt to tackle there by Les Morrissey. And Brown, we haven't seen much of him since that first try, I must say that. But he's a Johnny on the spot there to score a very good try. Well, Craig Coleman had been calling a blindside shot for the, the previous three plays. He finally got his wishes. Ball coming to the side. Darren Brown, pretty easy try in the end, as Paul Vorton pointed out. Some terrible defence there from Les Morrissey. So 20 points to 18. And again, we have uh, a new leader. Crossan. Now 12 metres in from touch. And 20 metres out. Beautiful kick. Never left the line. A further two points for the Rabbitohs. They lead now by 22 points to 18. Eon Crossan. Wonderful uh, kicking performance here tonight, and I'm sure we're going to see many more of them for this man in the South Sydney colours this year. 
Crossan gives it to Darren Brown to bring it back. And what a uh, what a signing he is proving for South. A couple of tries tonight came across from Canterbury this year. Sedaris. Trindle. Thompson. That big boot of his putting it way down the ground. And O'Meara starts the trek back up the field. 32 metres out from the Illawarra line. Russell. This is Cross. Now David Walsh. Andrews around the legs. Cabri over the top. Schifoletti. South ball. No doubt about it. No, he just looks a bit out of touch, Dean Schifoletti. Ball through it. And this is a good chance here down the blind side. Coleman can't pick up a support. Bad mistake there. The ball went through the, the legs and just not enough enthusiasm to clean it up. Trindle. Sedaris. Sedaris for Coleman. Coleman inside ball. Looked to shade forward. Referee agrees, and it's going to be a scrum to pack down. Yeah, about, uh, 30 metres out from the Illawarra line. Yeah, Tucker Dummies on the outside. Tries a sneaky one back in there, but it went about two foot forward. And the referee, although he's 10 yards away, wasn't in the best of positions, picked it up well. Simon. Fritz. Now it's McGregor. This is the Girdler. Away from the tackle of Thompson. Good run by Girdler. Should have been held, though. Russell. Look at the strength of this fellow. Now they get him down. South are short this way. Ian Russell was looking to come back this way. Dean Walsh decides to hit it up, and they're starting to get some good continuity and some good cheap yards against the South Sydney side. McGregor. They're 10 metres into South Territory. Chris Walsh. This match a long way from over. South. Holding the aces at the moment. McGregor's kick ahead is taken by Souths. Yeah, it's what you call a nothing kick. Nothing doing there. He didn't even know what he was doing with it, really. And they just put it, virtually gave six more tackles to the South Sydney side. Well, Should have been either deep or high. Yeah, it wasn't a grubber and it, it wasn't high, was it? Just giving away possession. I'm sure that's not what they trained for and I'm sure that he's not one of the regular kickers in that part of, of, of the field of play. Minto. Stewart. Siren in the background as um, Garlic goes to ground. And so at uh, three quarter time, South Sydney leading Illawarra by 22 points to 18. 20 minutes of action to come, other side of this break. 22 points to 18 in favour of South Sydney as we go into the final quarter. And uh, Illawarra have been looking dangerous. I'm wondering whether they can snatch this one out of the fire against South Sydney and uh, pick up that semi-final berth against Cronulla Sutherland next Tuesday. Well, the way this game's progressed, we could have another three or four changes of leadership before the, the 80 minutes is up. But you would think, going in with this lead, the experience of Craig Coleman at half and his kicking game, along with Manoa Thompson, should be enough to get them home. But as I say, it's, it's certainly gone back and forward and may well continue to do so if the first 60 is any indication. Well, the Steelers showing their hand early on, on an early tackle, sending it down the ground, and Crossan is picked up in defence, only about 25 metres out from his own line. Coming away is Steve Maven, 10 metres from the halfway mark. South uh, have been well served in the, the defence department, I note, by Sedaris with 23, Cabri with 20, Maroon 17, and Brillawarra Walsh with 19, Waddell 18, and Skifaletti with 12. The kick is too full, and it's going to see a scrum down, go down just on the South Sydney side of halfway. A chance here for the Steelers. Yeah, Sue, so they'll get the ball here from the scrum. An ordinary kick from Coleman happens, happens like that sometimes. And now Illawarra on the attack, out through Simon. 9-3 the scrums to Illawarra. And... Uh, 
Here they are on the first of this set of six with Cross. And this is the part of the game that must worry Frank Curry because Illawarra, when they're running the football, they're getting over the ad line so easily. And this is uh, Girdler. He'll play the ball just outside the 20 metre zone. Russell, Russell to Simon. Great. Beautiful pass. Great skills there, boy, Ian Russell. Now to wave for Russell again. He's really coming into the game a lot now. Crossing, taken just outside. Well, his own try line. The wrong option there. Oh, there's a bad blue by Marone. Probably the wrong option there by Russell. Uh, with three, three men outside, the little kick was never on really, but. He looks like he wants to get involved. Every set of six, he wants to take that ball up. First man off the ruck. Marone, simple, basic error there, looking to where he was running. So a great opportunity now for the Steelers. Close to the line. They win the scrum. Simon gives it to Dale Fritz. Fritz is held. He tried to crawl his way to the line. McGregor gets it away for Russell. Russell trying to free himself from the tackle. Was there an elbow in there? Well, that's what the referee's seen. He will call Ian Russell out here. Not sure whether he was just trying to get his arms free here, but certainly the, the elbow went swinging. Michael Andrews also being called out as well. It's gone against South Sydney. Well, he's got he's got Andrews for the headbutt. Russell's just, watch this headbutt here. Fierce looks there from the ball. <laughs> and he blows up too. He says, you can't do that. Let me in there. But the kick down from Doherty right in front. He has these for breakfast. Three out of four for Brett Doherty becomes four out of five. And the scoreline becomes 22 points to 20 in favour of South Sydney. And this is a real arm wrestle. They're going to take it right down to the final siren. One of them has to go into the semi-final. Getting us going again. And we've had plenty of this in the South Illawarra match tonight. Crossan sending it deep. John Simon sending it back with young Girdler. 10 metres away from his own line. Russell. Not surprising that Andrews was there in the tackle over the top. Schifoletti. Doherty. Simon. Crossing underneath it, well positioned. Comes away from his quarter. Looks to link up with his support. Oh, they pick him off and drive him. Tackler was Fritz. Stewart away for Jackson. 32 metres out from his line. Yeah, great tackle here from Dale Fritz. A good chase by the Illawarra team. Crossing going across field did make it a little bit easier. Some inspiring stuff there from the 5'8", Dale Fritz. Unusual position for him. Darren Maroon gets it back for Goodwin. Now for Darren Trindle. That's a big kick. It might find touch. And it does. Good kick by young Trindle. The talented young player. And the scrum will go down about 10 metres out from the Illawarra line. Plenty of steam coming off the off all the players here. They're all fired up. It's down to the wire, this one. Two points in it. Illawarra, all the work to do down in their own quarter. 90 metres in front of them. Steelers winning the ball. McIndoe comes off his wing to take a run. Well, we've seen one piece of individual brilliance from, from Alan McIndoe, but I'd have liked to have seen him get a little bit more involved. You know, he has got plenty to offer this side, and really we just haven't seen enough of McIndoe apart from that one try. Schifoletti for Izzard. Andrews around the legs, good one over the top. They hunted as a pair earlier on. They're still hunting that way. Now Walsh plays it. Schifoletti scoops it back for John Simon. Is he going to get trapped? Offload, and it's going to be Illawarra's ball. So that was the fourth. This is the fifth. And now he gets his kick in. Crossing. He has a tendency to get across the ground. 
and uh, it makes it so easy to make the tackle on him. Well, he's got to learn, Ray, when he's bringing the ball back to try and link up with his South Sydney teammates. He had Steve Maven on his left then. Sure, he didn't have to use him, but he was there just in case, but he ran the other way, away from his supports. Here's Maven now, right on the halfway mark. Last quarter, and the last of our double headers for 1992. We head off to the semi-finals and uh, Wellington and Auckland next week. Sunday and Tuesday matches. And that's the kind of play we'll continue to see from South Sydney. Driving the ball down into the corners. They won't particularly mind if they don't find touch. If they do, that's great because everything is in their favour. The scoreboard, the time clock and uh, the, the field position as well. This is where they need to play. Cross. 32 metres out. Waddell. Sidaris making the tackle on the fifth. Schifoletti for Simon. Simon decides to run it. He links up out wide with Doherty. Doherty centre kicks. Crossan goes back for it. It may go into touch. It doesn't. And it's cleaned up there by Maven for South Sydney. Yes, enterprising play there from John Simon from Illawarra. He saw that Doherty was unmarked uh, on the outside. Took the chance with it. Doherty ran down, saw he was covered, did the right thing, put the kick in, and now Illawarra get a chance to hold South down in their own quarter. Thompson. Maben. Schifoletti and Izzard making the tackle. Sidaris shows it. Tackle by Russell. Last tackle. And here's the kick for Manoa Thompson. Cross goes young Brendan O'Meara. And he'll be hoping his side can come back and win for what is an obvious reason for those people that have been watching the match all night. An unfortunate mistake for him earlier on. And that will uh, be still probably in his mind. I hope not, but it probably is. McGregor. Walsh. Scuvaletti. Held by Maroon. Simon uses the ball through the air again. Quickly out to McIndoe. He kicks ahead. Crossan gets underneath it. He comes away from his 10-metre line. McIndoe goes down the field to make the tackle. One tends to agree with Peter Sterling. McIndoe with his class, his speed... His experience, probably uh, Steelers supporters would love to see him get involved more. A nice couple of plays there from Illawarra, running the football on the sixth tackle before getting a late kick in. Manoa Thompson here looking for an early kick for South Sydney, and that will be their tactic. They're running the ball on the sixth, the wingers are back. They have created an overlap on both occasions. They're getting a little bit desperate now. Time getting away, and they are behind. Thompson's done a good job for South with his kicking game tonight. Quite obviously, Coach Curry was just happy for him to reef the ball down the park, bring them back from their own line rather than kick for the touch lines. And Thompson's done that job for him. Schivaletti, Russell, across, looking for a flat run up. Finds Izzard. Izzard got support. Gets in the line for Gardner. And he goes all the way to put it down. Illawarra have gone back to the lead. Russell take a bow once again. He's had a brilliant game, Ian Russell. Watch him with this. Gumming, parrying, thrusting. Here's a beautiful ball. Craig is up, ran onto that one well. Jimmy Sidaris, a bad missed tackle. And it's well finished off by Girdler. Sensational try to the Steelers. Back in front they go. They are in front, and Ian Russell, he's been the most dominant player on the pitch tonight. Takes the ball across, puts the defenders in a couple of minds. It was the number 12 who missed him as well, along with Jim Sedaris, Darren Brown. And Craig Izzard did particularly well to position his ball runner to the best advantage. The number 14 taking it round. Ryan Girdler showed plenty of speed, gets them back in front. But as uh, Paul Borton pointed out, take about Ian Russell and Craig Izzard and Girdler, the try scorer, covered some ground to get there. Doherty's kick is coming around sweetly. He's got the further two. The Steelers, 26, South Sydney, 22. 
bringing the ball back to the halfway mark, trailing by the four points. I think in fairness, Sterlo, Illawarra have been probably looking the more dangerous side right through the second half. They just haven't been able to go right on with it. Well, that's the way it's looked, but it's not always the way it pans out. And take nothing away from a very gutsy South Sydney side. They just keep coming at you. You know, they haven't got Mark Curley out there, who's probably their, their biggest name player. Um, Coleman provides plenty of experience for them, but a lot of guys out there haven't played a lot of first-grade football. They've got behind a couple of times tonight, and they've kept coming. This man, he's the difference. He, look at this. More and family. Russell, he's gone right through. Darren Stewart chases, makes the tackle. But Russell, he has carved them up. Tremendous performance by this man. Oh, he has had a game. Nine and a half out of ten for Ian Russell tonight. Through the dummy there, put the pace on, push Sedaris off again, and look at him go. Legs pumping into touch this time. Yeah, tried to do the right thing, tried to come back inside, but just ran out of room. And a good chase here from the winger Darren Stewart. It's Darrell Trindle. Takes the ball forward. But he's met well in defence by Dale Fritz and Ian Russell. Coleman. Cabri. He's probably been their best forward for South Cabri uh, tonight. He's, he's uh, only a rookie. He's just a kid, but, gee, he's done well. Hitting the ball up with gusto, and uh, he's made a lot of yards from them up the middle. South still resorted, resorting to these tactics of putting the ball down into the Illawarra quarter. Doherty away from the kicker, Trindle. And picked up in defence there by Cabri. Well, the Steelers... 26 to 22. One of the club's finest uh, finest achievements. Not too far down the track if they can cling on. Schivaletti. And don't forget, when you're analysing this match, some of those names that I read out to you earlier that aren't there for the Steelers tonight. No, they've, they've done a marvellous job and big injury toll. It's going to be a great confidence booster for the club. And we're into the last five minutes now. Only five left on the clock, so... They've only got to hang on, really play the ball down the other end of the field. A good kick over Crossan's head. They'll need a good straight chase. And what can I say, Ian Russell again leading that chase. Crossan. And wrapped up by Dale Fritz. Graham Murray has sent a couple of the new boys onto the, um, onto the pitch. John Britton in 22, Craig Simon in 23. Ball comes out. Play on, says the referee, and Mabin plays it. Thompson slides out down the left flank. Coleman. Mabin. Now Cabri. Trindle. That kick is rolling end on end. Very close to the sideline, but it's going to be taken back by McIndoe. Well, that tactic was working for them when they were in front of the scoreboard. Now they're behind. I don't know why they're not trying to spin the ball out and uh, searching for that elusive try. They need a four-pointer to get in front. That tactic's not going to work for them. And certainly take a leaf out of the book of the Illawarra team, work it for maybe five and run it on the last until it, uh, it, it breaks down. The ball's gone loose there. Well, you know, this is what they've been working for. Sidaris takes the ball wide, picks up Coleman. Coleman now. He gets it inside the 20-metre line. Maven is brought down. Only about nine metres out from the line. This is Thompson. Thompson coming back before straightening the attack. Pulled down by Walsh. Also in there was John Simon. Coleman. Long ball out to Sedaris. Sedaris tries to grab her ahead. But the Steelers come up with the ball. Yeah, selfish play there from Jim Sedaris. Third tackle. That wasn't the tactic that was needed. They had to pound away at the line. If it came to nothing, last tackle, put it up in the air. But not a little one through with uh, not a great deal on their third tackle. Play by Fritz. And this is Britton. Skiffalitti moving into dummy half there. He's, he has made a couple of mistakes, and we've talked about the players who are out injured. He is one player coming back from injury. I think he's a very talented player, a little bit rusty in patches tonight, but overall a pretty strong 80 minutes performance from Dean Skiffalitti. Yes, we've, we've given Ian Russell a mile of wraps tonight. Let's not forget the support he's had through skipper Chris Walsh, Waddell. They've all played very well, the Illawarra forwards. And this man, John Simon, who uh, puts it uh, deep down the ground and he finds touch. About uh, nine metres on the South Sydney side of halfway. That's what says Steve Maven, not agreeing with the uh, linesman's judgment. 
But uh, linesman uh, ruled on that one, and I think it's a good decision. Simon uh, finding the line just inside it. Maven was saying that it actually landed on the line. But um, the touch judge was right on the line and right in his decision. This is Thompson now. Trindle, Maven. Trindle again. Coleman, run around for young Trindle. Sedaris's pass has gone to ground, and there's John Simon diving on the ball for the Steelers. Well, two minutes to go. South have got to get desperate. They've got to start throwing some, some passes and, and hope that they stick. But with only a little bit left on the clock, Illawarra should be smart enough here just to work it in. They don't have to do anything fancy apart from work it for six. And there's some good ground to be made up there before we get a kick in right at the death. I think they've played sensational, the Seals. I'm, I'm tipping them to make the five this year. They fought well. They've got a, a good blend now of experience and youth. And Gray Murray, mark my words, he's a very, very good coach. A bad mistake there for Illawarra, but with probably, what, a minute remaining, it's just about all over. The scrum will go down about 10 metres out from the South Sydney line. It was a ball from Russell to McGregor that went to ground. Yeah, simple ball drop there. That's They didn't need that. They don't have to score. They've got this game... But, uh, you know, they don't have to force anything now, and that, that's good defence. But Darren Stewart gets outside his man. Minday comes back inside. Maven. Coleman. Trindle. Thompson. Back for Coleman. Trying to pull something out of the hat. Trindle. Play... 15 metres short of halfway for South Sydney. Long ball over now for Brown. Maroon, he goes ahead. The siren sounds, though. That's the end of the Challenge Cup for South Sydney. Illawarra will continue on. Graham Murray smiles. And why wouldn't he be smiling at this time? Because they'll go on to the semi-finals now, next week, and they'll play Cronulla Sutherland. I'll tell you more about that later. Illawarra defeating South, though, 26-22. We'll take a break and come back and wrap it up all for you in just a moment.